Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, in the upcoming special about Janet Jackson, you know, the documentary, I'm going to have to try to find a way to look at it. You know, I'm going to try to find a way to check it out. But um, there was an article that just surfaced. I don't know if it was from Randy or, or, or Janet, but one of them basically implied that David Bowie offered them drugs. Didn't say what kind, but offered them drugs when they were children. Because, you know, they had a house in uh, Encino, California, and they said they went through a lot of racism. But they said they prevailed. And I'm going to talk about something else that Janet Jackson said that's going to bother you. Some of, some of you sisters out there. Well, I ain't going to say sisters. Y'all ain't sisters. Some of y'all, you know, angry black women, you know, and white women who be sitting up there planting them seeds, them, them demon seeds in black women's head. So I'm going to say something that y'all ain't going to like pertaining to Joe Jackson that Janet Jackson said. But nevertheless, let's get to the David Bowie thing. Now, you know what? I appreciate what David Bowie did as far as fighting to get black music played on um, MTV. But if he did that, that's that's terrible. Now, we all know uh, David Bowie uh, at the time was openly in the 70s. Well, you know, you know what was up with David Bowie. He was openly, you know, out there, to say the least. And it kind of make you wonder why was he giving them, you know, and trying to offer them drugs at such a young age? And it kind of make you wonder what he was trying to give them. Allegedly. Now, to be fair, David Bowie isn't here to defend himself. But that's not a good look. Trying to give children, allegedly, you know, paraphernalia. So like I said before, if David Bowie in fact did that, not not cool. And depending on what type of uh, drug paraphernalia he offered him, it could have possibly get him, you know, would have got him, you know, let's just say a shallow grave. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, if anybody watches the, the documentary, let me know. Um, if you can sneak and record segments, uh, you can send it to, send it to my email. I'll leave the email in the description box when I finish this video. Oh, also, um, I'm gonna start leaving the cash app because people want to know how to make donations. And I'm gonna tell you something. If you guys want to continue to, you know, see me go cover some of these fights, uh, Hey, that's the best way. Because I'm going to tell you right now, man, for some reason, it's starting to get real expensive to go cover these fights now. These plane tickets are getting ridiculous now. But, you know, keep in mind, I have to understand that I guess the airports and the hotels are still trying to recover from, you know, basically when they were locked down. They're st we're starting to feel the 2020 effect. But, yeah, let me know what you think. This is your boy, Town Biz. I'm out.